Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. I've been wanting to um to record this game for quite a while. Been quite excited, excited, excited. Ex I can't, I can't speak right now. Um. Anyway, what what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna just gonna play through the average thing, I guess. Basically, I'm sorry. If you don't know what the Stanley Parable is, it is a game where it's, it's like completely based on the story. It's a, it's a first person game. You just go around completely based on the story. It's, it's a funny game. But anyway, it's, it was, it's, this game is made from a mod in Gary's mod, the game in which I love. And anyway, <clears throat> so. Let's just, let's just let's jump right in. No, no more of this this jabbering in my mouth. D D is never the end. Is never the end. Is loading. Yep, that makes sense. Nah. Isn't that what that girl called you in Halo Reach? She would she would like call you a yeah when you walked up to her. That that little Russian girl. She'd be like yeah you you yeah you're yeah. You're in yeah. That girl's in yeah. You're all in yes. There you are. You're all? Uh, what is. My words are not helping today. Why don't you load game? Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be. Oh, I'll, just, I'll just be right back when the game. When the game loads. <laughs> This is oh. a story of a there man named Stanley. Let's go. Stanley worked for a company in a big building mm -hmm. where he was employee number 427. Mm -hmm. Employee number 427's oh, job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Push those buttons. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk. It's my job. Telling him what Pushing buttons, buttons on to a push, keyboard. How long to push them and in what order. Much this is what my employee life. 427 did every day of every month of every year. This is me. And this is actually a story so about my Stanley life. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been made and of course, this is my house. Job. I live in Stanley space. Was happy. I was happy. Actually and then one day, happy. something very peculiar happened. Oh. Something that would forever change Stanley. Oh. Something he would never quite forget. Yes. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. But first, he took a selfie. Now let's go. Here. All of his co workers were gone. Oh, yeah. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't think I want to do that, Mr. Sir. I think... No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I... heard something about, like, you could get onto a filing... Oh! No, I can't jump. So I can't jump onto the desk, but I'm pretty sure there's a way to get onto one of these desks and jump out that window. And I'm gonna find out how... Sooner or later. Can I get on the chair? Uh, get on the chair, Stanley. Come on, you can climb that chair if you believe. What am I doing here? Where the heck is this stupid thing? Where is it? I'm sure. I'm sure it's here. I'm sure. Ah, uh, 
whatever, I'll just do it later. No, oh, what's it here? Oh. It's so sad and lonely in here. I mean, look at this place. Oh. Oh. It's pretty spooky. Well, I get pretty spooked pretty easily, so I don't I don't know about this game, man. It's pretty it's like a it's like a first person horror movie. Um Oh, let's turn it off. Burp, burp, burp. Okay, let's go. Come on, Stanley. Well, where am I going? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What well, wasn't there like a room there? Not a window? Whatever. Um I'll enter the door on my left. My left? My left. Okay. Four one two. You hear that little clicking of buttons? Look at that. Sounds so cool. Listen to that! Oh, it's double clicking because you can hear the clicking, the actual clicking, and the clicking. Listen to that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Tips Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, <clears throat> hoping he might okay. find an answer there. I did. It's true. Implory, implory. What is with my words? Oh God! Complete this, today's unfinished agendas items. Write next day's agenda. Reflect. The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. <laughs> oh, that sounds like. I don't, I don't know who that sounds like. I don't know who's gonna say there. Probably something. Probably something good. Not cost efficient. Standard graphics. Forty times wide. Okay. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Okay. Chris, where are you? I'm gonna get you and I'm gonna pull you out of that broom closet and you're gonna tell me everything that's going on. There it is, there's the broom closet. I got the broom closet. Where are you, Chris? Stanley stepped into the broom closet. I did step into the here, broom closet. So he turned around and got back on track. Yeah, yeah, I did actually. I did get back on track because Chris wasn't in there. Now I hope this door doesn't close behind me because I want to go Coming back there staircase, someday and Stanley walked go upstairs find Chris. to his boss's office. Oh, what's going on, Mr. Boss? Where are you? Oh. The executive bathroom. Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover I was? an indication of any human life. Keep saying that. Oh, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. 2845? Of course, okay. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Well, I know that, but Stanley doesn't. So, well, I am Stanley. Okay, what was that? What is this? Oh, what I put? What am I doing? Oh, let's get the phone. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. I did! Trying to input anything on the device was useless. That's true. Since he could never possibly know piano. that the combination was 2845. Oh my god, I'm actually on the piano? Here, look, Stanley, I just gave you the information. You're just gonna have to put it in, okay? 2845. Yeah, shut up, narrator, I got it. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons oh. on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. Oh god, this luck. is gonna get spooky. Ooh. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Aw, oh, spooky. It's too spooky for me. Red button and a- Wow, Jesus! Woo, that scared me. 
You know, I'm not really for scary games. I'm not really into them. You know, they scare me. That's exactly why. You know, I'm gonna finish this whole game in one sitting. One sitting, that's the same. One sitting. I'm gonna finish this game. I'm gonna go down this elevator, and there's gonna be like. Some sort of into the crazy man hanging from the ceiling. I do. A bit sick, actually. Of he felt sick. more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Well, what the real question is? Oh God! Why, do, why does everything behind me just blow up? Why is the narrative Stanley shut? Oh, straight ahead oh, through Jesus. the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yeah, this is just... I'm just... I'm just going, because I'm too scared. Look. Okay, just... The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't know. I really don't know if I have the strength to find out about this. It's really scary, you know. Now the monitors oh. jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I feel like right now that this is gonna be this is gonna end badly because I know that in Stanley Parable there's always like some in, some weird game this changer. Facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. It's not really that Had bad Stanley at all. Really think about it. Someone's control all this time. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his was emotions it? had My been manipulated to accept it blindly. My job's pretty fun. No. Oh, where am I going? He refused to I'm believe scared. it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. My life? It was unthinkable. In someone else's control? Wasn't it? I this was America. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his am entire life utterly blind to the world? Am I a robot? Because I really... But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls oh. labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, Tid. all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I'm going to... I'm going to, but first I gotta press this five. I know you're gonna think I gotta take a selfie, but no, I actually I don't I don't have to. I think I dropped my phone in that elevator. It was falling down. Off or isn't it already on? Or maybe it turned off. Wait, it's either off or on right now. So if I click on, it's not gonna. Oh, whatever, just turn it off. Oh, I can't see. This is what I hate the most about video games. Uh, scary. Like, it's just all gonna go wrong. There's gonna be a cutscene. Oh, that, that, that noise is not very kind. Madness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Dude, won. that music he had was so insane. The machine, unshackled Go himself back? from nope, someone else's command. Freedom was mere what? moments away. What? And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, uh, Stanley reflected oh. on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Yeah, like I, I, his co workers gone. Yeah, where are all they? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even oh, power great. that he had well, been seeking. 
but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. It will be mine. That was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped say. through the open door. I wonder what happens if I just uh, forget it. Stanley felt the cool breeze yeah, upon his cheek, the feeling Ooh, of cold. liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. Mm. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Oh, Stanley. Am I done now? Is that, is that, that the end? Don't tell me. Come on, Stanley. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just back here again. All of his co-workers were gone. Hello. What could it mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's raining today. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hey, look. <coughs> before, before we go, or before I go, I want to try to find this secret... Uh, well, you know what, it's, I've already been recording for quite a bit, so, whatever, uh, goodbye everybody, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and junk, and stuff, bye, that was a long time. Thank you.